Welcome back to Kangbros TV. Another three points. And but they were <laughs> sticky. <laughs> Bro, uh, sticky. <laughs> the amount of times, yeah, that I have gunned Moyes for how shit he is. And how he talks about he's a winner and all this kind of stuff. I actually give him respect for today. I actually give him respect, bro. Because West Ham played decent. And the thing is, what I would say is, throughout the whole game, I always believed that Liverpool were going to win the game. You know that. I think you saying that, you know what, you could sense something was off in this game. But I always had a feeling that Liverpool were going to do whatever it takes if we were going to win. Maybe because it was at Anfield. But throughout the whole game, I just felt that Liverpool were going to win. I will say that. But you felt, like you said, it was sticky. And West Ham actually made it tough. Listen, West Ham... For the first game that Liverpool played against West Ham this season, that if I was a West Ham fan, I would have lost hope. I would have been like, you know what, it's a wrap. Let's go championship. Let's go now. And let's just write it <laughs> off. And then when they played against Man City, I thought to myself, the same thing. It's like, what is this? But then this game, you look at it and think, finally, you've had a go. Mm. Look, and, and, and the reason I said that something fell off was because I just felt like every time they broke, it felt like as if they were, they were literally going to create something. And the way they were breaking, it looked like they were going to create something. Whereas they haven't done that before. So, for, from a Liverpool perspective, listen, I'm not, I'm, I'm, four wins. That's all we need, yeah, to win the Premier League. Mad, mad, mad. It's just, it's crazy. You can't comprehend that. But, I'm not going to get, uh, that performance was off. I felt it was, it looked a bit lacklustre. It looked like we were a bit vulnerable. I don't know why. I can't put my finger on it. But, if you go back for all the years, and every time you speak to, to any fan or look at any interview or any pundit that, that has won the league, they always say, listen, quality, you need quality, you need, um, you know, consistency, hard work. And they all say luck. And they say, everyone says it, you need a bit of luck. But they all say that. Yesterday, Fabianski, my man catches pigeons in his spare time, yeah, <laughs> normally. And then and then that's going in. Like, do you know what I mean? There's two goals against him yesterday. I'm thinking, he's better than that. Yeah, he's yeah, better yeah. than that. So listen, we'll take the luck. You, But the thing is, you do earn your luck because Liverpool... I felt were very lethargic and I just kind of like it was an expectancy. When the first goal went in, it was like, oh, we expect it to, to, to go our way. And then it didn't. And then when they were 2-1 down, it was like, right, okay, we better start popping, we better start playing now. And then all of a sudden, the atmosphere changed. Yeah, like when the first goal went in, <coughs> I, even, I even said to him, I was like, you know what, this is going to be a long 90 minutes for West Ham. Because it started off perfectly. But then as the game started going on, like West Ham, with their crossing, Snodgrass, and the, the, from the other side as well, right? The crosses that are coming in, Liverpool has so many corners. And I'm thinking, why can't we cross like these guys? Like, like they were on point every single time. Even the goal that they scored, like don't get me wrong, I think it came so quickly to Allison that even when it went, I was like, you know what? I don't think you could do much more. I don't. I don't think there's anything. Yeah. Everyone's like, oh, he'll be a bit harsh. It's because of the standard he sets himself. Everyone's yeah. like, he should be catching that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But that for me, it's hard to say. I'm gonna put it out there, controversial, right? And I know that people are gonna be, they're gonna say oh, you're actually you're harsh, whatever. Listen, everyone needs to get off Trent's. Everyone needs to get off of this Trent hype. Yeah, a little bit. I'm not. And, I, and take another pinch of salt, okay? I'm so grateful that he does deliver the crosses that he does, right? I feel like everyone did prove that he's only human because that game, he was miles off it. But he's had assists, a couple of assists. He should have had another one at the end and he popped off shots and stuff like that. But if you're being honest in your heart of hearts, Liverpool fans yesterday, be honest with yourself, that Philippe Anderson was pulling his plant, pants down all game. Philippe Anderson was taking the piss out of Trent. He was literally knocking it past him and running from his own half, yeah. right? Defensively, I don't know if it was his coach frailties. Yesterday, for all the good going forward, he was poor going that way. Defensively, he was he was, he was just... Philippe Anderson genuinely pulled his pants down all game. So, I, I, listen, it's great that he does what he does up there. And I know Klopp encourages that to get up there, do it in that half, that half of the pitch. But, defensively, he can be got at. And that needs addressing. He ain't the best... He's not the best defensive right back in the Premier League or in England. Right? If you're going to the Euros... You, you got to be, you got to be honest. Yeah, you'd have him in your side because of going that way. But if you're looking at a team where you're thinking we're not going to have much of the ball or whatever, you're probably looking at Wan Bissaka. He's a better defender. He's a better defender. Defensively, as I said, Flea Anderson, the guy decides to turn, turn it on when as and when. Yeah, I said he was making he was doing it with ease. It wasn't like he was like running ragged. Like he was doing it with ease and like, just we, knocking it and running. And we were thinking, come on, man. But like you said, like. Like you said, you don't want to be too harsh with it because we're just being realistic. Like we, we say it all the time, like Liverpool, as Liverpool fans, we're very realistic. And going the other way, he is phenomenal. Like he got two assists, and it's, it's mad. Do you know what I mean? Put it that way. And his delivery sometimes is compared to the likes of Sir Robert Beckham. Sometimes some of the crosses coming in, like it's undefendable. It literally is. And but like you said, against uh, Athletic, that he was going missing. So 
he can be human. And even the guy up top for, for West Ham, he was causing problems throughout the whole game. Yeah, Antonio. Antonio was causing problems throughout the whole game. Um, and, and I think the commentator was saying like, he's had a bad game. I was like, what, what game are they watching? There was, there, there was a few times that, that Liverpool defence had got, got out. <coughs> um, the other thing that I, I want to touch on this, on this topic, right, is Naby Keita. Now, I want Naby Keita. I, I, look, I swear down, I want Naby to, to be so good and I want him to come good. And when I saw him start, I was like, yes, come on, Naby, this is your time. And he's, he's disappointed me again. Now, he was dead. He was dead. <laughs> he was dead. No, but you, you're sitting there and say disappointed me. Mm. He was dead. Mm. The thing is, capital D, d dead. Yeah, but the thing is, fans, are, they get they get defensive of, of, of Naby. I don't get defensive. Don't get me wrong. Like, if you're saying he's dead, and I know he didn't have a good performance, so I'm not going to get that, that type of defensive. But how long now do we wait for Naby to... Are, are you done with Naby? Like, is it, have you seen enough? Or where are we at with Naby? I think, I think it's... It's clear that he's a squad player. Mm. I think that's clear, right? Because he does get goals, important goals, and there is bits in there that you look at. Like, you know, I think you made a point yesterday. He whip, he fizzes a ball in, and his next run is into the box. Immediately into the box. The third man run, great. It's great. But is it's, he is he going to nail down the starting spot? You, right now, you can't. The simple things. He weren't even doing the simple things. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know, everyone looks at Naby to be that attacking guy to go for, like, and, he, and he does that, but... Just the simple passes he was doing, like misplacing passes. I remember Genie running back just to collect something that he just completely was off, like in terms of one of his passes. I watch, so, I watch Fabinho, yeah. right? And and I know that if you go for our videos, I was not convinced when we yeah, first yeah, time. Yeah. I was like, what have we done? We signed Dud, right? Mm -hmm. But now when he's not playing, it hurts me, bruv. I'm like, ah, oh, no, like, ah, oh, this is cat. When when he's not when 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 Naby's not available, when Naby's not playing, I'm not thinking this is a travesty. I'm looking at it thinking, ah, oh, cool. And the shout out that has to be given, right? Because I, I'm, I've said it before. I don't think he could, he's starting. I don't think he, he he's as effective. But Ox, when he came on yesterday, changed changed every, every everything. The whole game. It was the, the whole intensity changed when Ox came on. And I think this is what uh, Naby wasn't giving us. Like yes, we, we everyone loves seeing Naby on the ball and all this stuff. But the energy popping off shots, um, and, and just the intensity whole change. And I think. We talk about Henderson not being there. Maybe maybe that affected the intensity. I'm, I'm not sure. But the fact that Henderson wasn't there, this was an opportunity for the likes of Naby and Ox to really shine. But And, and yeah, like you said. But then, doesn't that just say that, you know, we're talking about Naby and Ox, and then we're both not sure if they're starters or not. Doesn't that just demonstrate that they are, this is our squad, and we make it work and ha when we need to make it? That's it. it. I think you've got to look at the positives, and the positives of it would be we have got, we've got depth in our squad that you can bring somebody else on to make an impact and stuff like that. But these guys have obviously got to realise that, listen, we're not doing enough to hold down the spot. Simple. Two, I think it was 2-1, and the props were like that. Get, Naby, get the hell out of here. <laughs> it was, I don't know, what, was it 50 something minutes? Yeah, he was like, ah, not us enough. Thank you. Thank you, but no thank you. But So, yes, the performance, do you reckon, like, what, what was it? Why was it off? It, like, I've had so many various things that the Athleti thing got onto their head. The, is it the pressure? Is it the nerves? What was it? I mean, that's what I'm going to say. Like, West Ham want to give respect to Moyes because he didn't just come to defend. No, he didn't. I thought everyone thought that this was going to be just Moyes holding on. But he actually came to take the game. So, full respect for, for Moyes for doing that. And like, I've never given Moyes respect in my whole life. So, but what, what, what was it? Like, what were their tactics you think that caused Liverpool, was Liverpool problems? Or did Liverpool just, just too slow moving the ball around? What was it? I think there was an area of expectancy for Liverpool. I think mm. it was a case of, yeah, we'll listen. These are going to sit in defence and we'll tuck these. Mm. And I think that's where you got to take your half and say, yeah, fair play. West Ham's tactics weren't that. And they did have a go. And that kind of caught Liverpool, uh, I think, a little bit off guard. But like I said, it's, it's easy to sit there and say it's ne be negative about the performance. Or you look at it and say, listen, over 90 minutes, Liverpool found a way. And I think, I think I'm, I'm going to go down that route and say 90 minutes, we were, it was a bit sticky-icky, but we, the Liverpool went and found a way. And that is a sign of a team that is championship material. And they've got a goalkeeper that is just different gravy as well. So, I don't know what anyone says. 